Hey guys, so today I'm going to be telling you how to make this cable. This cable is what you're going to use to connect posit video from any source. This is actually going to be from my Sony camera to your FPV the transmitter. Your wireless, I have a 5.8 transmitter right here with a small camera that I usually use, but this is going to be showing you how to use it with any composite video cable using a simple adapter. Okay guys, so the first thing you're going to want to do is, you're going to want to take a knife, I just have a pocket knife right here, and for an example, you're just going to run around the edge of your adapter to split the clips, because there will be clips in here, and this is one that I've actually already modified, so uh, it's already going to open. So, open it up, and this is basically what you're going to see inside. This is the outside, which will be the, the ground to the top and then on the inside you can see the barrel where the inside plugs into where this plugs into and it's down there and you're going to want to solder your yellow lead there and what I mean by that is on your cable for so on this there is the inside which is this nub right here and that is going to be the positive or the yellow and then on the inside your actual video lead and on the inside is the negative so on the cable you got with your transmitter, it should be some something similar to this. Uh, this is from a Boss Cam 5.8, uh, 200 milliwatt. We have the yellow and the black, and we don't need any of the other cables except for those two. <clears throat> so what you're going to want to do is you're going to apply some solder to the copper. Uh, there's a good reason why I'm using one of these, is because you're going to be able to plug this in and transmit it. It'll be able to transmit over the 5.8, and you'll also be able to plug this into another monitor. So you'll be able to have two monitors for one. Uh, so you'll be able to do one local and then one somewhere else. So you might want to apply some solder here too because these were just held in by the clips, and once you take this off, it might not hold quite as well. So just solder uh, right here and here. Add a glob of solder anywhere along this top bracket and then anywhere on one of the bottom tubes down there. These are actually what the tubes look like. You can take it out and see each one. So put this back in here and I already have solder on there. So what you're going to want to do, I'm going to do the yellow first because yellow is underneath and I have a bunch of solder in there. Make sure this is good. Alright, that'll be fine. Take the yellow lead. This would be a lot easier with some helping hands, most likely, but it's pretty fast. Done. Check it, give it a tug, make sure it's okay. Look at it, looks fine. And then the black lead, which goes to the top. Very simple. You're probably going to want both of them to come out this side. Uh, you could make them come out either side. I'll show you what I did to make this a little easier so the case goes on better. Heat up the solder. Alright. Get a tug. Looks fine. Good, good. So, what you're going to want to do is, in one side of your case, preferably probably the top part, see I cut a slit. I just used a knife and I cut both sides, basically a V. And that's going to be a channel for both of these wires to go into, like this. So then I can snap the case back together, like so. And then I have a piece of tape here from earlier. Put that on. Wrap it around, like so. And boom. There you go. It'll be perfect. Ready for plugging in any composite cable. You can use two cables at the same time and have one actually plugged into a device like this cable is for my uh, Sony camera and then I have another cable I could plug in right here for my DSLR which I'm using right now and then just only have one video actually uh, going into it and have one of those cameras on at a time. Otherwise your signals will get overlapped and the more stronger or the stronger signal will overtake the other one and you'll just get a lot of interference. So you don't want to do that. This is ready to use.
So we're on, what you're going to want to do is unplug your other camera. I have two of these leads because I've actually had two of these transmitters. And yeah, so this is just easy for me. Take this, plug it in. Boom. Now all you have to do is plug the other end into your camera and add some power. So I'll do that right now. All right, guys, so I'm here. I have my Sony camera. It is plugged in and pointing actually at um, another camera over here. And then I have this plugged into here. And let's plug the other end into the camera. Which way is it going? Do -do -do. Yeah. All right, good. Now we'll be able to transmit this. You're gonna to want to power up your transmitter, and I have a almost dead uh, battery right here, a Turnigy 2200 milliamp hour battery, and get positive and we have negative. All right, now that everything's plugged in, over here you can see that on this screen over there. Let's go over to my TV where you'll actually be able to see the transmission. Alright guys, so here is the transmission um, on my TV. It's kind of going in and out because there's some interference over there, the battery's dying, and I'm probably not on the best channel. As you can see, oh look at that big old hair attached to that. Oof. Um, I can move the camera. I'm just going to move it over here a little bit. I'm actually moving it with my foot because it's way over there. Oh, there's some transmission issues. And that's it guys, super simple. Uh, as you can see, we have the transmitter right here. The cable going over here. This, which this is plugged in right there. Also the power plugged in because this is actually dead. And yeah, it's just that simple guys. It's a tiny bit of work and you'll be able to use this without having to cut open your cable and uh, basically ruin it um, if you ever want to use the composite again without having to resolder everything again. Yeah, uh, this will definitely add weight if you're using this on a quadcopter. If you're going to be using this with uh, a similar kind of camera like this or a DSLR, which you're already probably not caring too much about weight because those are going to be very heavy compared to a small camera like this. So, thanks for watching and have a great day, guys. Bye.